Jeff, we're here at the NAB 2016. Showstoppers, you have a huge booth, HP, here. What's the big news? We have fabulous news here today. Lots of new products that we're introducing. But we're probably most excited about NASA's space launch uh, on Friday the 8th. They actually took our ZBook 15. They're replacing all the computer equipment in the International Space Station with the HP ZBook 15 mobile workstation. This is a fabulous new opportunity and a six-year venture that we've signed a contract with NASA specifically to replace all their solutions up there to do experiments with the astronauts, doing all their healthcare management, as well as running effectively a data center from their ZBook mobile workstations to do file serving, even to the extent of showing each other movies, uh, you know, to pass the time of day. That launched uh, on Friday, and the first 10 systems went up into space, and they docked with the space station the following day. So this gives uh, new interpretations to the expression docking station and launch. You say you have a, a, a it launched, and launched it, you mean a, a new product launch? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, actually the, the launch was the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, and it launched from Cape Canaveral. What was interesting is, you know, kind of a shout out to SpaceX. It was a fabulous launch. Everything went off flawlessly, and for the first time ever, they landed the first stage of the rocket on a barge out in the Atlantic, brought it back for reuse. So fantastic story there. But even more so, Cape Canaveral, the launch pad, the company called Hensel Phelps, the architectural firm that designed the launch pad, also used Z Workstation in their development process. So you, you both launched and landed the, 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 the spacecraft. Yeah, so it, what was interesting, uh, Elon Musk is all about reuse from his rocket's perspective. So that first stage, after it jettisoned off, second stage took off and took them outside the atmosphere. First stage flew back to Earth and landed on a barge out in the Atlantic, keeping everybody on Earth safe, obviously, and then they brought that back into port a couple of days later. Uh, I'm assuming that they used... Uh, solid state drives in the computers? That's a great question. So solid state drives, uh, obviously faster solutions. We actually have what we call a Z turbo drive in all of our mobile workstations, which offers about four times the performance of a standard SSD. But the challenge for NASA, believe it or not, there's no IT department on the International Space Station, right? So for them, all the astronauts have to uh, work on all of their mobile workstations themselves. That was one of the reasons that they selected us specifically because our, our workstations are highly reliable, but also fully serviceable. So the astronauts, if they need to replace a hard drive, add memory, replace failing memory, they can do that. But from an SSD perspective, they're actually using spindle drives still on the space station because the reliability and the life cycle of the spindle drive is still far superior to that of solid state technology today. So when they back up to the cloud, which way does it go? <laughs> Fantastic question. Well, the clouds are below them. So, you know, from that perspective, they're going down to get to the cloud. By the way, do they back those hard drives up to the ground? Yes, they actually have servers um, sending data up to the space station uh, from that perspective. But everything is done up in the space station. Every backup and everything is done there locally. Uh, how many computers did they launch now, and what's the, uh, the, the prospect for the future? So uh, there's 10 systems up there that went up in the first launch. Uh, they're actually sitting in the payload, ready for deployment in June. But long term, they're going to actually send up a total of 120 HP ZBook 15s.